Hello, I'm Martin, and today I'll show you how to unlock any Samsung phone that's locked by a Google account, also known as FRP. This method works on all Samsung models, from the A series to the S24 Ultra. As you'll see, we have many satisfied customers, and we need to factory reset the phone. If you try to turn it off, you won't be able to, as it will ask for a passcode. To bypass this. Plug a USB cable into a computer, then connect the phone to enter recovery mode. To enter recovery mode, hold the power and volume down button. As soon as the display goes black, switch to holding the volume up button or continuing to hold the power button. When you see the Samsung logo, release the button. In recovery mode, navigate to factory reset and then clear cache. Once that's done, you can reboot the phone. Let's set up the phone. At the top, you'll notice a lock icon. When we get to Wi-Fi, it will say an unauthorized attempt has been made to reset your device to factory settings. Connect the phone to Wi-Fi. You'll see it asking for a PIN or Google account details, but then we don't have those. Remember, the phone must be factory reset. We don't unlock passcodes or patterns, only Google account locks. Also, if the phone is not yours, please return it to the original owner. To get started, go to our website and find the Google account removal by technician service. This is a paid product. But if we can't remove your Google account lock, you'll get a full refund. No questions asked. Simply add the service to your cart, go to checkout, and add your phone's IME or serial number in the order note. To find your IME, open the phone app and dial asterisk hash zero six hash. We'll need the first IMEI or alternatively the serial number. Once your order is placed, you'll receive an initial email confirming it's being processed. Within 1-4 hours, you'll receive another email confirming your order is complete. When you receive the order completion email, head back to your phone. First, we need to restart the phone by pressing the power button and selecting restart. When the phone boots back up, start setting it up again. Ensure the phone stays connected to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connection is necessary and should not be skipped. We'll get to the next step, Nox Configure. When this pops up, simply press Restart and wait for it to boot again. When the phone boots up, set it up again. This time it goes further than usual. You'll see that the phone is already unlocked, but we're not quite finished. Wait for setup to complete. Sing later or next as prompted. Next, go to settings where you'll see the phone is on Android 14 with UI 6.1. The phone may continue showing. Nox Configure cannot be used. When this happens, go to settings and manually factory reset the phone. This is the second time we're factory resetting the phone. Set it up again and reconnect to Wi-Fi when prompted.
continue. Set up, skipping all steps wherever possible. This time, it may even ask for sign-in to all accounts, but avoid signing in yet. Continue setting up and skipping all steps. Once the phone is set up for the second time, go to settings and manually factory reset it one last time. The third and final reset. This time, if you like, you can sign in to your Google account, Samsung account, or any other accounts you need. You'll see I quickly go through the settings and successfully set up the phone. Here's the exciting part. You can get free unlocking. Just subscribe, like this video, and comment your Instagram username below. Each week, I'll select one or two winners and contact them on Instagram. Make sure your profile is public. If you need this service, visit our website. Thanks for watching.